With the media block, you can display content in your messages, such as images, GIFs, videos, and documents. You can upload any file from your computer or introduce the URL of a file hosted somewhere in the internet. You also have the possibility of displaying dynamic content based on a variable in your URL. But we'll talk about variables later on. Another thing you can do is choose an animated GIF from Giphy. You can also copy and paste a YouTube video link to show it into your bot. Now let's try this out. Let's choose an image from my computer. This one with the dog will do. Then a PDF document from a link. A random GIF. A YouTube video. And finally, an audio file from my computer. Let's have a look how it's displayed in the bot. First of all, save it. Go to share. Share with a link. This is how each type of media is displayed. We have the image, the file, the GIF, the YouTube video, and another file. The first file is the PDF. The second file is the audio. Both will open in a new tab. There are some tips and tricks to visualize these types of files better, but we'll go through them in another video. You can also find the same media options into the send the message block by clicking on the media label under the text box. You can mix messages and media under the same block to display rich content. That's all for now. See you in the next video.